On the street, the law of supply and demand applies, particularly in the black market for guns, according to New Jersey's Attorney General, who today announced investigators had busted an interstate gun trafficking ring anchored in Ohio with a direct pipeline to Camden. They indicted seven men and seized 17 guns. A number of those guns trafficked by this very ring were involved in a number of violent crimes in Camden over the last several years. 17 guns linked to this weapons trafficking ring were recovered, including the two assault rifles that I just mentioned, as well as 14 handguns. They would drive them from Ohio here to New Jersey, to Camden, over 500 miles to deliver the weapons to the local traffickers. And we allege that the defendants ultimately resold the assault rifles on the streets for prices of up to $2,000. Investigators say the ringleader and straw purchaser in Ohio could turn big profits because Ohio requires zero permits to buy firearms, and they're relatively cheap there compared to Jersey. That's the supply side. Mr. Ha uh, Hammond walked into the store, presented his driver's license. Uh, they run a brief uh, criminal check, which takes anywhere from 25 to 30 minutes, uh, and then you're able to walk out with however many guns you want. New Jersey's tough gun laws in part drive the demand for contraband weapons. Police say these five Camden middlemen would impose a surcharge on the Ohio weapons sold here as their share of the profit. Each gun that we seize or take off the street is a life or multiple lives that we save in the process. Traffickers do a booming business. In 2016, the ATF sourced 2,500 guns recovered by police in New Jersey, and 80% of them traveled a black market route called the Iron Pipeline, stretching from 10 mostly southern states with loose gun laws. 61 guns came from Ohio. These suspects now face racketeering and other charges that could result in 20 to 40 year sentences on conviction. There are several less felons that are supplying other gang members in this city with devices that can kill innocent people and we're, we're happy about that. Police know one bust won't stop gun trafficking into New Jersey. There's just too much money to be made. But at least for now, these guys are out of business. In Camden, I'm Brenda Flanagan, NJTV News.